everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so today's video we are going to discuss the new director's notes new content and convenience improvement update for may 17 okay so just to be correct about the date i'm gonna read the director's notes have my comments discussion weigh in guys if you think this director's note is actually good for you or if it's not good for you okay so we'll proceed with the director's note okay greetings from Jung Sun Choi again our director for XO Zero so from the this note I will be delivering you the updates of the new content art birds and convenience improvements are being made so they have been teasing this new PvP content a couple of I think weeks or months already um, for this one so I assume this will arrive um, during the the first year anniversary on or before so they are actually putting this out right now okay the names the name and details of the content introduced in the director's note are a work in progress note that they may change when the actual update is applied okay so arc burst preseason I hope this doesn't get stuck in preseason because Infinity Core is still in preseason up until now, and it, it has been a couple of months. I don't know when they're going to formally launch that uh, game mode. It's actually a waste of space. Um, I don't know why they haven't you know, launched it yet. So I hope Arc Burst will go into season, not preseason. So we have prepared, prepared a new PvP content where you can test your skills by fighting other users through battles so this is actually a pvp real-time pvp and you get to choose your matchup uh, sorry choose your team first um you can actually ban uh before you select the hero so the heroes that are selected to ban are literally banned for use in the battle and applies for both you and your opponent's team so like for example, for me, I already have somebody in mind to ban. So I'd like to ban Talia because she's so annoying. Really. So for those of you who, who will encounter me in battle, I'm going to ban Talia. I'm sorry. Um, she actually is a lot of is annoying in terms of her heals. Um, especially if you don't have Rams in your team. But again, she will definitely have to go. Okay, so it will be banned for both teams. Hero selecting is preceded alter alternately and teams are formed with the final five heroes you have selected. So it's like a draft system, alternately selecting um, um, heroes. So pick one, pick two, uh, up until I think pick ten because each team will have five heroes to use. Okay, so again, here are the screenshots for Arc Burst. Um... I think I think this one this this PvP um, is more creative actually creative in a sense that there's creativity in banning. I would actually suggest a um, if they could have a let's say for example for this week this hero is banned. Then you also get to select one hero because again this um, this fosters creativity within the community in ter in terms of team building. The problem with this PvP mode is that this will favor the whales, of course, because most of them have leveled up their most of their most of their heroes and have very strong teams that they can just neglect the ban and have a replacement after that hero. So more or less, um, again, this favors the ones who have a diverse lineup, uh, diverse heroes, um, most uh, signature force. So again, um, beginners and mid-level players will have to catch up for this game mode as well. So once once the teams are formed, the arc burst battle begins. So this cannot be auto battle. So you have to be in directly control with your skills when it's your hero's turn. So that's actually the difference between PvP or sorry for Zebed's Junior. Okay. So more or less a good addition to content. Um, I hope the rewards are. Better than Simmons Jr. Um, 
rewards in terms of zest that's the, i think that's the only thing that the community is raving about in terms of rewards for zest so i hope this one will also provide great zest rewards as well so let us skip the director's intention um i know he has good intention hero call flare okay hero call flare actually i read this already and this is just um, calling your heroes to a town or to a village and striking a pose. <laughs> Selfie! Sorry, Rufy! <laughs> so that is it. Um, it's a bunch of interaction, having fun, but this does not impact gameplay that much. It's more for aesthetic, more for fun, and more for enjoyment and memes probably. So more or less there will be interaction with this content as well. Okay, the director's intention. Uh, you can all have your heroes. That makes you happy. Okay. Okay, we are happy. As long as you put out good content. Um, we are more happy with that, I'm sure. So, new hero and fate core appearance notice function. So, this is simply a preview. It's, it's actually a teaser on, um, on who will be the next fate core. So, it's a teaser announcement. Um, you got uh, there is an unlocking on day day one, day two, and day three because this will be put out uh, more or less three days before that Fate Core is going to be launched. But there is a launch date as well. So more or less, um, this is just a a notice. It again a active teaser within the game. Okay, so by the way, guys. This one, this is the the one, uh, the the FC that was teased for Garf. So with her silhouette, this is actually her. I've seen the actual picture already, actually in, in Discord. So this is actually to confirm with you, Garf. But I'm not, I'm not sure with the date. That date is actually well past its launch. So we'll have to wait for Garf for and also for a future announcement. Okay, battle UI and account buff info. The function where you can check the account buff information. During the battle has been added, the account buff information that is being added to the battle UI shows the amount of, of the account buff that is applied to your current team. You can check the buff effect applied. Okay. You believe that this will help you recognize the buff effects that, mo that more, e more easily and set your growth plans better. Okay. So, nothing too fancy with there. So, Signature Force, good news for those who have been using Astoris. It will be up. For stage three, um, open um, a storage public fourth enhancement of stage three. So you will have uh, level three will be open already for stories. For those who have been, you know, complaining for the past few months that stories hasn't ha opened. So here is actually um, a chance for you guys to power up um, your stories uh, republic nation. Um, so far, I'm also going to build my stories a republic because I wanted to, you know, um, focus on PvP tag already. And uh, my second team is actually built around a stories republic. So through the opening of the signature force enhancement level, we hope you will find new possibilities for heroes from X from a stories republic, Exos Republic. No, not Exos Republic. The next actually is a bit intriguing to me because it's called New Faith Core Theme. It's Brun, a powerful ally in another par uh, parallel world. So a New Faith Core Theme where you will share the honor of Brun together will be coming soon. Please look forward to the heroes reborn under the flag of Great Brun. Okay, I presume that Dorka will be here because she's the general. But my question is... Will this will this upgrade the Fate Core theme add other heroes to Brun? Because right now, um, you only have a select few or a handful of heroes that are related or are directly linked to Brun under a nation. So more or less, I hope that they would add other characters or other heroes to Brun and equip them with Fate Cores. That is actually my wish. I hope I am right. I hope that Brun will receive new heroes because they have been out for quite a while already. Okay, so help modification, so new contents and functional added. We found that use help was somewhat inconvenient. Okay, so 
try to check this out guys i'm going to check if this really this modification is going to be really helpful this time okay convenience improvement air squadron hideout extend object activation period next would be not going to you know do more or less these are very small convenience enhancements airborne air squadron announcement and board max letter expansion because again it's really ridiculous to have only 20 letters so they've expanded it to 50 unleash power modification of circle exchange button condition um, um i don't think a lot are using this unless that they're you know leveling up lower lower rarity of heroes and going up to be used in their team so hero challenge filter added function very good because this is actually a headache in terms of looking for a specific hero that you're going to put in your hero challenge that the you know it, it's it, it's a pain because you have to you have to search for a lot of heroes and the, the filtering system is not really that good so very good for this one new content preview so here we are with a new content preview it's called memorial saga they actually would like this kind of you know this kind of um view or 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 what they call this character hero view the miniatures so for me i i, I hope i really hope that this content is actually enjoyable i don't you know at this point i'm not going to judge whether the you know the miniatures are the best to use for this one but again i'm not going to judge um i'm gonna play it here comes a new storytelling content memorial saga that has a worldview of exos heroes okay so memorial saga is a content that lets you explore the secret stories that are that 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 are led from a legend i don't know what that means with cute 2d heroes it cute 2d heroes you can check out stories of time and space and have that have never been shown before okay um this is actually going to be good um as long as the mechanics of story is actually you know interactive content is highly playable uh involves strategy as well i don't I, I won't i don't mind this so the first of the memorial saga will feature the story of ramji and rachel first encounter at king's guard please, please look forward to the beginning of the epic in a fairy tale like space okay so those are the announcements so far in terms of future updates and a preview okay so for the closing comment so may 28 2020 the first anniversary of the opening of exos heroes and Loot server thank you to the support from a close to 4 million users around the world we believe that we have been able to continue our service safely what do you mean by safely up to now i would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to the users happy first anniversary for global server i do hope you guys have a lot of giveaways for the first anniversary because again for the korea for the korea um anniversary you it was actually very good i i hope you top that for global server one year so first reinforcement of the story exos is a game based on content that requires collecting and fostering many heroes okay so i'm i, I guess moving forward we can expect um more content related to story so that is first and foremost second is thinking outside the box in in making various contents okay this is actually i'm not sure if if i'm going to be happy or I go, if I'm going to be sad because this one, the thinking outside the box, you should have done this a couple of months ago, even in your sixth month uh, or even before that. Because again, you have to anticipate the players, what they want, even if you just given them, it's, it's called planning guys, plan your content, plan what, or ask the player base, what, you know, what, what, uh, what, what, content do they enjoy the most so i hope they just stick to their word in terms of rolling out a good experience of new kinds of uh, new kinds of fun and challenge yourself <laughs> we strive to make exos here as a game where you can experience new kinds of fun and challenge yourself okay 
So I'll, I'll hold you to that, guys. XO series, I'll hold you to that. Okay, third, the communication with you all. Of course, it was a bit kind of late to where you already, you know, you already communicated concerns, listened to the community. And I hope that, again, it's not going to be too late. It's actually, there are still a lot of leaps and bounds where you guys, XO zeros, I mean, have to, you know, prove yourself to your player base. Because again, um, Zest compensation is good. But again, guys, be realistic. People are also happy with your content if you have good content. So that's it. So I hope moving forward after this one year global server anniversary, you guys will keep on innovating, keep, keep putting out good content, enjoyable content, and challenging content, as you said. Okay? So what do you think, guys, of the new director's note and what to expect for in the next few months for Exos Heroes? Put them down in the comment section below. If you, you know, if, if you're happy with their update, if you're not, please let me know. Put your thoughts down there. Also, guys, stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.